Alrighty guys, so welcome back to Ark, where today I'm going to be finishing up the egg farm. So, I do got to say one thing, I am sorry about yesterday. Um, I did not notice that my Ark video had some problems with it while uploading. I mean, everything was going fine. When I went and checked on it, again this morning when I was looking like seeing why isn't this getting views? Um, it said SS, that was SD and HD version. They were both still processing and stuck at 99%. And they'd been stuck like that for hours. So I finally just decided to re-upload. And yeah. And we finally got it fixed. So this episode will be coming out today. So you guys will probably get two ARC episodes today along with a Pacific Drive. That's basically all we're doing this week is Pacific Drive and ARC. But anyways, you may notice here for the egg farm, I have put up two more structures. I got my terror birds put in place. Now, this one is a very nice, simple design. I've used it in the past. What you do is you take triangle foundations, place them around, get six of them, you know. You just get your little octagon, get some ramps so you can get your terror birds. And I mean, you could do one floor. I did two. So that way, you know, I can get as many eggs as I can. And yeah, I think that worked great. So, what I am doing today is we are mostly just going to be putting up. We're trying to put up the last couple egg farms. I think I have three more. So I've gone, I've grabbed all my Argentavis. I've grabbed the stuff I think I'm gonna need for this build. I'm not gonna go too, too fancy, but I still want it to look nice, you know? You always want it to look nice. So let's go with that. We'll get the stone pillars out as well, why not? And what I wanna start with here is I don't want it to go too far out where can i put yeah i can put these in here so this is gonna be the argentavis so it doesn't have to be too big um that should work i don't need to go anymore and i think we go three across this should this is just kind of supposed to be a holding area for them i think that should work um then if we take the walls like so Boom. I like doing the invert on the walls. It just makes it look nicer. And I can probably get the back side here if I use my mind. Yep. Um. Come on. Snap. Snap where I want you to. Thank you. Then boom. Now... I was thinking about going around the top at least once with, uh, what was it, with the wooden railing, or do I even have any? I do, I have 48, but, but I think we're not going to do that, because I feel like this is already in too high, and what I want to do is that kind of slope. Um... Let's do that, and then, you know, yeah, we'll do the wood railings, but what we're going to do is this way. Is we'll go through, and, no, boom, boom, boom. So, like that on both sides. Sorry, that, um, come on, snap where I want you to. Nothing ever wants to snap where you want it to the first time. Now, how does that look? That looks decent. Um, let's do that. I need another pillar, but that's alright. I'm going to put down my stone. That that looks like it'd be good. That, that'd work. This one is kind of a quickie, because I don't know what to do for the Argentavises. Um, I feel like that's just how a lot of the last ones are gonna go, because they're big creatures. I really can't get them enclosed. I mean, the dodo. It, I mean, it's basically just an upscaled version of the dodo pen. Honestly, I'm just glad the terror birds and these guys at least got something different. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go get me another pillar. Okay, so before we start working on any other pens, I figured we may as well just get Argentavises out, let them get rid of their cryo sickness. They should wake up here pretty fast. And yeah, 
we should be able to get them in the pen. I'm just thinking of what should be the next one I make, really. Because we got the Argentavis is going. Um, I think just Theories, because that would be the next one. Right, because then it's like the Utahs, and the Utahs are the big guys. I'm, although, I'm pretty sure some of these Utahs are not. They might be. I feel like I'm missing a Therizino. I did I did I do only six in the Therizino? Why did I do seven in the Utyranus? None of these guys are Huh. I m I must have miscounted when I made that farm. I didn't realize I had that many Utahs. I might get me more fairies, though. That might be why I'm not getting a whole lot of those eggs. It's because I only have, like, five uh, fairies. I can probably bump it up another one. So, not gonna lie. I probably made this just the perfect size for the Argentavises. Like, look. They fit perfectly. Alright. Perfectly. Alrighty. Uh, so... We're, we were building this, and I realized my mic was muted. That's my bad. I have to go get ramps to go finish the ceiling. Alright, so I got my ramps here. I'm not doing sloped roofs because those are too steep. I'm liking the ramps. And, well, seems how these are theories. This is quite literally just a larger version of that. I'm not going to lie. This is what it would probably look like if I actually... Yeah, no, this is what it would look like if I went around with the half walls like I originally wanted to. So, well, we at least know that this is going to look decent. I'm, I'm, I'm okay with it, is what I'm saying. Come on. Boom, that one's done. Now over here. There we go. <clears throat> now, I need to try and get pillars in this. There we go. What is going on? Dang it, no, it's another one of these. They keep getting in my base. The love bugs. They keep getting in my base. They keep on shooting all my guys. Like, look, this one here is the previous love bug. It, they keep on coming over here and shooting the Utahs. Which, yeah. I'm thinking I might have to go get some plant species X and plant them. Just to keep bugs out of my base. Alrighty, so. I've gotten all the Therizinos into their pen. This is taking me a lot longer as well because I decided to grow a Therry. And then I realized I ran out of food so the damn thing nearly died. Yeah, I was not happy about that. And, 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 I almost forgot to turn off breeding on these guys. Thank you. I almost forgot. But, yeah, we got those all put up. We got another love bug that flew into the base here a little bit ago. And I'm going to grab its hearts. I've been getting a lot of them. So, yeah, I definitely need to put some sort of gun up turret. Plant species X, probably. Just to, you know, kill that kind of stuff. You know, I think I literally I just need one on this side of the base and one on top of the base by the Where is it by the Quetzal and you know what why not we, let's do that today Let's you know I can legit what we're gonna be doing for the Utai is copy and pasting Legit Utai is going to be a copy and paste of this. That's all I'm doing I'm gonna try and put it on an angle though over here. That's basically all I'm gonna do for the Utai so, I may as well finish off this episode with securing the base. Okay, so I almost got everything I need here for the plant species X. I just need to grab some fertilizer. And we're going to just take the stuff that's on you for... Yeah, you guys have been making a lot. As you may notice here, I have upgraded the amount of dung beetles I have from 2 to 4. They're producing more fertilizer than this ever has. And, of course, I am going to do one thing, though, before I go, because this is way too much fertilizer for one thing. And that's mostly just because I also just remembered these also needed fertil- Where is it? Ooh. 
Let's get that plant species X. Oh. I just turned on my chemistry bench too. I heard it. I heard it as I was going up. So I figured we'll do this right here. So it's uh, no, not irrigated. Where's my irrigation tank? I do do have one. I'm hoping that yep. We're on the edge of the irrigation zone, so this should, it says irrigated, so it should just all send, like, that. Like, I think it just did. It lagged. Yep. That lag spike was it doing that. Now, I'm going to fill you up with fertilizer, like so. Boom. Yeah. May as well completely fill you. Not like you're going to, ooh. Well, yeah, yeah, that's what I'll probably do with all these, is just completely fill them, because... With that, now that should grow. Once it's grown, it should defend this side of the base from anything that approaches. I might put another one on this corner as well. You know what? I have three seeds. Or should I? I should... Ooh. You see that color? Oh, we would not have seen that if I wasn't doing this. If it's a good one, we'll get it. I like the colors on it. Uh, oh, that's my intake. I got an intake for the other side. What one is that? Alright. What level are you? Please be a decent level. Level 30. Ah, I like your colors, though. I like the colors on that one. We'll keep it around. Hope If it dies, it dies. I might have to shoot it at some point. Okay, so this is where I'm going to put the crop plot. It's right here on the edge. It's elevated up above all that. So, and boom. That should establish irrigation to you. Yep, and now, how many, uh... You need six more fertilizer. Okay, I got all the fertilizer now for this. And I went and grabbed me another crop plot. So we're going to go hop back up on top of the base. And on the other corner there, we'll throw up another plant species X. Um, I was going to do one over here. I might do another one here, but it's going to be on like top of the Utai. Like I'm just going to throw it on the back. So then that that's covered there, you know. Alrighty, so... This one's going. How far along is this one? These are going to take a hot minute because, again, they're not in greenhouses like all my other plants. Those things skyrocketed just because of the 300% bonus. And because it's on single player. And I also do got a boosted already to the single player growing speed. So, uh, this should be almost like instantaneous almost on single player i think it's like five minutes for an, a plant to get fully grown so the that one has been up for five minutes and it's still seeding so i'm going to wait and i will let you guys know how long it actually takes for a plant species x to grow and then i'm probably going to call it there for the episode Alrighty, i don't know if this is done but it just hit the stage of growthling and it's been another five minutes so at 10 minutes here it's hit growthling has that one over there hit the same stage yet? It does not look like it has. This one has hit the next stage, which is midding. And I'm pretty sure that one's in that stage as well, right? Yeah, it looks like it. So these both are in the stage before. So this one is almost done. I think it should be done here in the next three minutes, maybe. Nope, only another minute. So that took about, what? That took 11 minutes to grow. Now this should be a fruiting. It should target. Right? Right? Or am I wrong? Turret in range. Okay. I'm wondering. Because that doesn't have anything. Um, here, let me go get some, let me go get a mount. I want to see if this thing will shoot at something. Okay, I found a car now. Let's go just drop him by the base. I want to just see if this thing will target him. Okay, drop it. Like, why won't that shoot? I thought you would shoot. 
I and oh I gotta get it right um all targets so what can you not shoot at him survivors only wild creatures oh I hit the ramp there on accident um did the did that thing just run around into my base it did it, it, why won't you shoot I thought that's what you were going to do, was shoot at them. It's the only reason I planted this. Uh, I don't know what to do. I think... I think they're fine. I just got to go around and change up all their targeting once they're fully grown. Um, is this one... This one should be the next one done. Wild only. There we go. Hi. Uh, yeah, that should be good. Now the other one. Also, you may notice as well, the Rhino Nanthia is pink today. That's because when I was breeding creatures, I got some event candies and I gave one to him. So now he's got a 10% movement speed. And he's pink. Alrighty, guys. Uh, so, I've been going here for a little bit. I needed to get an episode out today fast because uh, the whole thing with last yesterday's episode. Now, tomorrow, that should be uh, the G Giganto Raptors uh, release. And it's coming out on the island. Because, unfortunately, the center was delayed. Also, I'm getting some weird visual bugs. I probably need to restart my game here. I've been going for a while. I've been I was playing for a good while before we started today as well. But, yeah, anyways, I need to do my outro here. So, if you guys don't know, I have a sub goal and I have a membership goal. So, for the sub goal, this year we are trying to hit 10,000 members on the YouTube channel. So, yeah, just if you guys found yourself liking this content, please leave a like and subscribe. That's the best way to help. And as well, for those who want to go above and beyond, we also do have a membership goal. And that is for the YouTube channel membership. Um, it's $1.99. We are cur currently trying to get 10 members, and once we hit 10 members, we will be opening up an ARC server, and I've already decided that upon the opening of this server, it will be the center, or Ragnarok. Just depending, just depending, but it's, at this time, certainly going to be the center, if it can, you know, get released and not delayed yet again. But anyways, this has been Gunshamore, signing off. <laughs>